make mistakes, work loosely, and work under a time constraint because you want to force yourself to get into this habit of being able to experiment really work loosely and have fun again if you haven't subscribed you're missing out because i really love creating videos especially art videos that help anybody learning or wanting to learn how to draw and if i can help you then i honestly feel like i've made it and i appreciate your time i value everyone's time and thank you so much for watching the video hi welcome to the next video <laughs> and then in, in this video we're going to cover gesture drawings and we're going to do a little session and what we're going to cover are four things and one is avoid using scratchy lines when you're drawing two focus on the overall flow of the body movement with a single line and three time limit your sessions for drawing when you're focusing on gesture and the last one is experiment and make mistakes so these four things i believe are essential when you're going into gesture drawings and you want to focus on the flow of the movement that you're drawing which is generally a human that you're that the subject you're drawing from and Originally, I wanted to use a dance reference video because it's copyright and I don't have the authorization to use it. I had to crop it. This is why it, it's a bit weird. I hope that you subscribe. Consider leaving a comment down below of what you enjoyed about this video the most. And thank you. The, um, so we're going to do gesture drawings and the reference that we're using in this video is essentially a video to focus on the flow of the movement as well as the line of action that you see when you're drawing the subject which generally in gesture drawing is a human and the reason why we're using a dance video is because it helps you understand Dancing as a reference video is very common actually, especially in animation. It's called, I believe, rotoscoping. Essentially, the purpose of it is to capture the movement of the body. You're not focusing on the details because the movement in the animation or the drawing will inform the viewer what the action is when it's being laid out so what we're going um, okay so what we're going to do is observe the dancers movement and do time sessions of a one second a one minute and two minutes and five minutes so the reason why we're doing this is because when you're doing gesture drawings it is easy to fall into the pit trap that is drawing the details and the wrinkles of the clothes hair and use this warm-up as a exercise where you're mainly focusing on the movement and the flow of the be okay with making mistakes making ugly drawings because this is essential to being better and improving on your own art is when you're okay with making mistakes and bad drawings okay so what we're doing is i'm going to play this in a lower in a slower speed 
And essentially what we're going to do is pick a pose and draw from there. We are playing this video in a slower speed so that we can understand the movement of the body when it's in motion. So let's do a one second starting now. Literally one second. That was it, it was just literally a line. What you want to avoid doing when you're doing gesture drawings is avoid using scratchy lines. Like don't use this kind of motion when you're drawing. And instead, what you want to do is use your whole arm. Just draw, just draw a line, literally just, just draw a line. No matter if it's bad, no matter if it's good, you want to use your whole arm when you're drawing and that will help with your gesture drawing. And I like the movement of the dancer in one minute. So let's do this, shall we? And essentially, we're just going to focus on using the minute to capture. Okay, so that was one minute and it's generally a warm up. And so, you know, to some people, this may look really good to some others or um, beginner artists. So depending on your, you know, understanding of art and anatomy and doing gestures, I myself am still learning to do gesture drawings. And so this is essentially my one minute drawing of the pose that you see on the left. And <laughs> I'm honestly, not happy with it, but it's okay because this is meant to be a warm up and it's meant to be ugly. It's meant to be, you know, it's not meant to be appealing to the eye and it's not a perfect drawing. It's an exercise and it's meant to make you work looser. I really did learn how to be more loose and we'll go into the two minute session okay so we did our one second and one minute so this is our one second and essentially all i did was lay down a line that sort of all i did was lay down one line that I felt captured the pose and position of the dancer. And then this is our one minute. And I laid down one line that sort of followed the head to the spine of the body and the leg. Okay, so I shared my one second and one minute drawing and so we're gonna go into the two minute drawing and find a good pose for the dancer that we like 
in this two minute session, I'll try my best to explain my thought process as I'm drawing, but the two minute timer starts now. So what I'm doing is I'm establishing the position of the placement of the head and trying to draw the body in relation to the torso. I try to use these shapes and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And I'm trying to avoid using the control Z because what we want to do is just sort of commit to these line works that we've set. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing essentially a underwear and this underwear helps inform the placement of the, of the legs. So, oh my God, I just used control C. See, I'm not perfect, <laughs> but what I'm trying to do is avoid using a uh, big I'm trying to avoid co overcompensating for the legs because sometimes they're too big and I want them to be more proportionate and so I try to use my time to establish the placement of the hand and the the legs. And that is about two minutes. Okay, good. So essentially what I did with the drawing is I establish the movement and by that I mean I establish the line of action and to make it more clearer for you to see this is the line of action the red that is the line of action and that is the that is the placement that is the general flow of the body and where all the tension is the tension actually is in the is in this leg when it's only the part <laughs> oh my god i don't know okay we follow the we follow the line of action and from there i started drawing i started drawing the torso the hips and their relationship. So they it's sort of like a jelly bean shape. And the way that I sort of break it down is through the chest. I draw, I draw a sort of resemblance of the rib cage, but also the outline of the chest. In relation to the hips, I draw a sort of like underwear because the reason why I use this underwear shape is because it helps me to see it better in 3D. So when I use this line, I'm when I use this line, I'm actually drawing in my head this circle and that helps me visualize it in 3D. And so when I draw this, when I draw the torso, the, this is sort of a cylinder and all it is is essentially a segmented line where you can see the form of the body in 3D and that helps me break it down in a, in a more simpler version. And when I went to draw the legs, that was different. I struggled a little bit with the placement of the legs because I am not that great with anatomy and that's what I'm trying to improve because essentially I want to be able to draw, I want to be able to draw 
characters in their simplest form, but also follow the structure of the body and simplify those structures in a way that my viewer can still understand what is the leg, what is the arm, what is the stomach and the face and body. Okay, so we've done our one second, one minute and two minutes. So the next one we're going to do is five minutes and what we're going to do is find a good pose that we like and let's get into it. So again, I really like the um, poses where they fully extend their body because it's very easy to find the line of action that way. I try to avoid the side view, but I really like this one. This one is easy. Okay. All right. Let's do this sidewalk again, five minutes. So what we're going to do is capture the line of action. So let's go five minutes. Oh.
Okay. So five minutes gave us a bit of time to just sort of capture the line of action, lay down the positions of the hands in relationship to the body. I think it could have been more, it could have been more exaggerated to really emphasize the the tension on the hip because I feel like it doesn't but that's okay because again I'm learning and if you're drawing along with me then you're learning as well and the point of this exercise is to really understand for yourself as an artist what you need to work on and for me that's exaggeration in understanding the relationship of the body and how the you know a, the line of action flows through the body like i said and the purpose of this exercise is to really understand the motion of the subject that you're drawing so this is where we wrap up the video and what i want to do is show you the difference in time so the, this first one that i'm going to show you is one second so literally all you had was one second and you use your whole arm and you just draw you just draw a line and again what you want to do is commit to the line work even if it's bad even if, if even if you know the line doesn't do what you want what you have to learn over time is commitment. And even if you didn't intend to make that specific one line to capture the line of action in the human body that you're drawing, it's okay. The purpose of this exercise is to allow yourself to make mistakes, work loosely, and work under a time constraint because you want to force yourself to get into this habit of being able to experiment really work loosely and have fun and then this is one minute i didn't really have much time to just sort of you know to get all the details in there but the main purpose is to capture the movement of the subject and if you focus too much on making like this one line it won't come out the way you want you want to use long strokes you want to use long strokes and be working lightly because you don't want to have this dark line um throughout the entire drawing because as you can tell in this drawing it has some varied line width and by that i mean some lines are thinner some lines are thicker some lines are longer and some lines are curved some lines are curved and you want to work with curves and straight line because that will help inform the the subject volumes when you're drawing <laughs> and uh, from one minute this is two minutes and we captured the main essence of the pose and what I like the most about this is that I use the I use this line. That is the line of action and that is the essence of that is the essence of gesture drawing. When you're trying to draw, you want to focus on how the motion flows throughout the body and the tension is in from the head to the toe and the support is this arm and this leg. So you want to make sure that everything else just sort of balance that out. And here we've talked about it earlier, but it is referred to as like segmented 
um, it's, it's like a segmented line and essentially I can't really describe it fully, but the main point is to really work loosely because as you can see this hand here, the hand there is not really, it's not fleshed out. It's not detailed. You essentially just use a couple of lines that really it captures the motion or it captures, you know, it captures it very roughly, but not too detailed. And you don't spend a lot of time on it because all you have is two minutes. Yeah. And so we go from two minutes to five minutes and I went a little bit stylized and this isn't what you want to do. But again, like I said, I'm learning and my critique on my own art is that I need to I need to emphasize more on the hips I need to emphasize more on the hips because the hips don't really move out that much but as you can see in the drawer in the video reference her hips is more out to the side and I failed to capture that because I got lost in the detail. So again, be f be okay with making mistakes and be okay with making bad drawings because it is part of the art process and you want to allow yourself to make mistakes and work loosely. Okay, so I thank you for watching my video and this gesture drawing is really fun and I've learned a lot myself from gesture drawing over the past 10 years and 2010 was when I started really committing to drawing and I've just learned so much in my in my years of drawing that I just sort of picked up on things that have helped me and I'm still working them out and if any of this has helped you, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I upload art content and I want to do more of these drawing sessions because I think they can be really fun. Peace out, Girl Scout. Peace out. Peace out, Girl Scout.